All right, so I went to AGP in Asheville for Leah Clark's release, which is awesome. So I'm just gonna show you everything that I got, which is a lot, and let's get started. So first, I just got the new Nashville doll tee, which isn't that exciting. I mean, it's, you know, a doll tee. Um, I also got doll bag, which I always get, hair tie. I got doll glasses. I'll even zoom in a little bit. There we go. I got some doll glasses, which are super cute. They are the raspberry glasses for dolls, and I think they're adorable. I'm really excited to have them because I wasn't sure if I should get another pair of glasses since I love the lime glasses, so I did. Um, of course, the Leah Clark exclusive sarong, which is awesome. I'll show you it. This is the back, and this is the front, and then it just has the little symbol. Two little strings, you just tie them together on the side. And I've worn a sarong before, so there. So it's supposed to look like that. Oops, not with the tag sticking out though. Oh, they even have the Leah Clark uh, tag on the back. I didn't notice that until now. Let's just untie this though. Okay. I also got the new Leah Clark magazine, which is just, you know, magazine. Awesome. Cool. Um, I got the Purchase with Purchase that was available then. And I don't remember what outfit this is. You can comment it down below if you know what it is. I can't remember the name of it. Okay, let's see. By the way, I just have the two dolls that I took with me in the background, Shelby and my new boy doll, Luke. Shelby's actually wearing his jacket. Um, came with a charm. Looks like it's the uh, Square Brave charm. This little hoodie, which is super cute, and it has polka dots on the back sides, and I guess it's just Velcro's buttons, maybe? I don't know. It's not Velcroed on the back, but I'll figure it out. Um, this little, like, raspberry colored hat. I'm not sure if you guys can see all this. No, you can't. This little raspberry colored hat. Whoops. Um, these jeans, kind of. They're, like, corduroys more like it. Um, and, of course, the shoes. These look a little small for doll shoes, actually. Okay. I'm stealing a shoe. Okay, these look a little small for doll shoes, so I actually stole a couple shoes from my dolls. You're welcome. They feel, I, I, I swear I could like fit them inside. Like, look at how much room is lost. And then compared to this one, yeah. I feel like it's smaller than most doll shoes. I don't know, it might just be me. Anyways, moving on. Um, I did get the Leah Clark's accessories. Super excited about. I'm hoping the bag will be in here. And now I'm kind of worried. I don't see, I don't see the bag. Um, I see this little Sea Turtles book. Um, headband. By the way, this headband, this headband is super hard to get on the dolls. Um, it took me and two other AG people at the AGP Nashville to put on this headband on one of the kids' dolls that was there. Um, this looks like it's a bracelet, maybe? Whoops. I'm just dropping everything today, guys. I'm sorry. Okay, let's unpackage this and see what it is. I think it's a bracelet. It's really cute. It has, like, a little turtle on it. Yeah, it's a bracelet like stretchy. It has a little turtle on it. It just says like nature and harmony, courage and strength, and friendship and love on the uh, three different strengths that come out of it. That's cool. Um, what's this? Oh, this is a passport. That's cool. Some pictures it looks like. Come on. Come out of your package. Out of the package. Out of the package. Thanks. 
Um, so there's a slot, there's a toucan, there's a um, cat, some kind of cat, it looks like a cheetah maybe. Oh, there's also a uh, sea turtle that I took with the toucan apparently. Okay. And then there's also her camera, which is super adorable. Uh, let's see if I can even figure out how to open this in the first place. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's nice. They even have one of those nice uh, silica gel things that you're just supposed to go and throw away. Um, anyways, this is awesome. I'm not sure how it'll fit around the doll's neck unless it, it comes off right there. That's awesome. That's very helpful so that you can put it around the doll's neck and she can carry it and stuff. Um, the lens does not move, it just stays in place. Looks like there's a screen, buttons on the top, side, yeah. It's cute. I'll give her that. Um, I'm still kind of worried about, you know, not having her bag. What else was she supposed to come with that I didn't get? Oh, the necklace! What about the necklace? That's weird. Okay. Well, I'm just hoping it'll be with the doll. Um, okay, I also got an outfit. I got Leah's beach dress. Oh, nice, another silica gel thing. Okay, it's super cute. It is actually a dress, I wasn't sure about that. I thought it was, you know, gonna be like a top and shorts that are connected to each other, like the one outfit that I have on my Kanani in Falling Into Oblivion pictures from our generation, but it's one piece, purple tie-dye. There's the Leah Clark symbol. I think that's on like everything that's hers pretty much. It's like when we used to have like McKenna and the D girl years before that. I can't remember if that started with Nikki or Mia. Anyways, like they had a, their symbol on everything and now they don't. Um, some sunglasses, super cute. I love the uh, design right there. So I of course got the exclusive collection. Um, oh hey, there's something else. Let's open this up jump out. Oh, I know what this is. It's like a little hair clip. It reminds me of like exactly of the one that Lainey had, except it was a monarch butterfly. You know what? I'm going to go get it. Okay. Well, here's Lainey's with the monarch butterfly, I think it is. And then here's Leah's with, I don't even know what butterfly that is, but Lainey's is a lot bigger and easier to open than Leah's since it's smaller. But they're just about the same thing. They're really cute. I like both of them. Okay, moving on to the flip flops that come with this. They're actually really cheaply made, I think, because like AG normally makes their shoes like really sturdy, and I feel like these are really flimsy. So weird. See, I can bend them. It's, it's I'm not even trying much to bend them. Um. Well. Okay. And they don't even have a bottom. Like, you know, most AG shoes have some kind of texture on them. These don't have anything except for the American Girl name on the bottom. Alright, so I have not opened my Leah yet, and I'm so excited. But I'm also really worried because a lot of people have been finding problems with her. So, let's see. Okay. Alright, well there's her box. Top. Just set that aside. Alright, here's her book, and it's just, whoop, up. Oh, there's the bag, there's the bag. Okay, if you're wondering where Leah's bag is, it's in her box. Oh, they even have like a in little indent thing where it came from. So here's her bag and her compass necklace. Um, so her bag is super cute, just small bag, but it's cute. Uh, it does have the Leah symbol on it, so I'm thinking that's a common theme here. Maybe they brought that back. Okay, if I can even get her compass necklace, there we go. Open. Oh, that's cool. It actually does point. Like, I can, I can move it, and it'll point. See? That's exciting. Do you see this? So exciting. Okay, sorry. Well... Now I'm going to unpackage her, and I'll move her a little bit closer than this even. Oh, 
Alright, so unpackaging Leah. Let's see. I always never use scissors just in case it'll hurt the doll. So I'm just gonna slide the rubber bands off of her feet. And then this is actually attached if I can get it. There we go. And now she's out. Uh, she does have weird little arm thingies. So. So she has these weird things around her arm. I'm just going to take off the uh, thing. It's for straight hair, of course. They never have one for wavy hair. Um, well, that one just slid right off. And this one did the same. All right. So she does not have neck strings. It feels like there's a zip tie in here, which really stinks. Um, I'm betting a lot of people are just going to cut that open and restring her. Um, here's her panties. They're Seriously? You have leg things too? Okay. Let's see if we can get her leg things off. As easily as the arm things. Not so much. Um, you might want a parent to get those off for you. By the way, but they come right off after you get them from there. Here we go. So her panties are green. And mine are turning inside. So, um, some of the main problems people have been finding with Leah are her wig isn't glued down right, and there's different pieces in the wig that are hanging out and stuff like that. So I'm going to just check my doll's hair, and it looks fine, to me at least. Um, yeah, I think it looks fine. So I'm going to take off her hairnet. Okay. I'm being really careful because I don't want to mess up the hair. Okay, okay. Okay, there we go. Her hair is so pretty. Um, okay, get, get the hairnet away. <laughs> like, just out of the hairnet. Which is really pretty. Um, she's so pretty. Okay, I, I'm gonna con I'm gonna go and compare her to a few dolls because I know that people have been wanting comparisons of her to like Rebecca and Kanani and Caroline because they think she has the same eyes, same skin color, or same hair, or whatever, same face mold and stuff. These actually don't go all the way around, so that's fun. Um, I'm just gonna pull her hair over to the side. These are the same fabric as this. Uh, this is actually kind of thin, I guess. I mean, it's not that thin though. This actually doesn't say Leah Clark anywhere on it that I see. Oh, never mind. Found it. So this is Leah compared to Rebecca. They do have the same face mold just about. I think Rebecca's is a little wider though. Um, Leah and Rebecca do not have the same color eyes. I'll even do an up close on that. They do not have the same color eyes. So you can see, um, they're almost the same color, but Leah's have a little bit more green in them, and Leah's eyebrows are definitely different than Rebecca's. Also, their hair color is different, because Leah's has some highlights in it, and it's a lighter color than Rebecca's, so I will just, well, and their skin color is different too. Also, the painting on the lips, as you can see, Leah's lips are a little darker than Rebecca's, and that's about all I'm finding different. Um, I still haven't taken Rebecca's hairnet off, still haven't taken her hairnet off, but I mean, I'm, I want to, I just don't want to deal with so much hair because I have 21 dolls now. That means 19 hair to take care of because... I don't really have to take care of the boys' hair as much as I do the girls, so it's going to take a long time, but I'm going to take their hair nuts off, I promise. Here is Leah compared to Caroline. They obviously have different hair and a different face mold. Um, of course, Caroline's hair is lighter and Leah's is darker. I mean, it's not that much darker, though. Um, so here are their eyes. Leah's eyes have a hint of brown in them in the center here 
if you can see that. Um, and Caroline's eyes are just seafoam green pretty much. Anyways, Leah's eyes are also a darker green color than Caroline's eyes. They of course have different eyebrows. I think Leah's the first person or the first doll to have eyebrows that way even. And of course their skin color is different as well. Here she is compared to McKenna. They have just about the same face mold, but Leah's is a little closer to Rebecca's than McKenna's face mold. Also, their eyes are different colors. McKenna's are blue and Leah's are green with brown. There. Um, they do have different eyebrows again, different lip shades, skin color, and their hair is different. So their hair color is different a little bit. McKenna's is a little bit lighter actually, even than her, um, not as light as her highlights are, but her highlights do not match McKenna's hair color, but Leah's hair color is darker than McKenna's hair color. Just for kicks, I wanted to compare Leah to Grace. They do have a different face mold just a little bit. It seems that Leah's cheeks are a little bit lower. That sounds weird, but her cheeks are a little bit lower than Grace's. And of course, eyebrows are different. There. So you can see Grace's eyebrow since she has bangs. Um, Leah does not have bangs. I think that Grace's highlights that she has in her hair are close to the color of Leah's hair, but they're not exactly. Grace, of course, has freckles, and Leah's does not. Leah's lips are darker, again. And, honestly, both of them together is adorable. I am in love with both of them, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope that if you want Leah, you can get her. She is super adorable, and I love her. With all the comparisons, I hope you enjoyed. If I need to do any other comparisons to any other of my dolls, let me know. Um, let's see. I'm not even going to list them. I'll just I'll list them right now on the screen in front of the dolls. That I don't feel like listing all the dolls right now, but if you want to see Leah next to any of my other dolls that I have not shown, let me know um, in the comments, and I will be sure to put that in the next video. Bye!